All right, guys, so this is the interface for the new NVIDIA Shield. And if you've used an NVIDIA Shield in the past, it's basically gonna look exactly the same. You know, there's really not a whole lot of difference with, with this one versus the last one, but we'll just kind of run through it here a little bit for you. So on the top left, you can see you do have the ability to uh, do searches for it, for instance. So you can come in here and either speak or type by just pressing left or right. And I'll do that real quick. Um, Brad Pitt movies. So there's a microphone built into the uh, microphone, there's a microphone built into the controller. So that's how it's doing it for me. And then it brings up, for instance, any movies with Brad Pitt in here. And if I wanted to watch one of these, I could maybe want to watch uh, Interview with the Vampire, which is an excellent flick if you haven't seen it. And I can buy it right here if I want, or it's also available on Vudu. It's good. It should show you any other apps that it's available on that you have. And you can look through it and do all that kind of stuff with it. Go back to the home screen. You can also, like I said, go in here and type if you want to search for something, kind of self-explanatory. The first row is your apps. This is gonna be, you'll see, these are the shortcutted apps that you have on here if you want to add or remove one. All you do is hit the, um, uh, actually just press and hold on it uh, with the select button right here. And you can hit move, open. So if I wanna move it, I can just press left or right. And when I'm done, just hit select again, or when you press and hold it, you can also remove it from your favorite so it's not there at all. It'll be, still be in your apps, but it won't be there anymore. Um, or you can also just you know tap it and open it, or if you wanted to, you could press, press and hold the select button and open it. If you wanna add apps in there, all you do is go over all the way over to the right and hit add, <clears throat> and you, this will show you any apps that you can add to those favorites. It's not gonna duplicate any apps that are already on that list of apps. So for instance, if I wanted Sling TV on there, I could just press it and now Sling TV shows up and you can see it wasn't here previously. And you can also move it around, like I said. If you want also, if you say you don't wanna add the app and you don't want to have it be one of your favorites, over to the left here, you can just press apps and you can get more apps to download or get more games or you can just look through your list of apps that you have on here and you can press it and open it or you can long press and do kind of the same stuff. You can uninstall it. You can go to info about the app. Um, so there's all kinds of stuff, little shortcuts. Instead of having to go directly into settings for some of that stuff, you can do it right from the apps menu. On the left here, you're gonna have selections of what to play next or what you've watched recently. So um, I've watched uh, TNT's uh, AEW Wrestling on here previously, Three Amigos on MB, Grey's Anatomy. So, you know, show stuff that I've kind of recently watched that I can watch on here again and just jump right into it. And then same thing, if you, you know, you got other stuff right here like Netflix. If you press all the way over left, you can see the little arrow over there. If I go to that, I can actually remove that. So if I don't want to see any Netflix recommendations, I can remove it or I can press the downward arrow and move it up or down. So you really have a lot of customization over the interface and you can do that with any of these little categories that it's added for you and basically any app that you download will pretty much be in here so you don't have to go directly in the app. If you don't want to, you can just go down to the selected category, for instance, TNT app. I can watch wrestling, I can watch Chasing the Cure or whatever else I wanted to do on here. So really cool stuff you know, with the customization and just jumping around the operating system. Going over to the right, you're gonna see settings. Now settings is going to be everything about this in terms of like uh, customization and tweaking stuff in here. If I wanted to go to sleep right now, I can press that. I can restart my device really quickly. Maybe I'm having issues or I just wanna restart it. Overall, I can do that. AI upscaling is one of the new things on the new Nvidia Shield. It gives you the ability to make images that might not be 4K potentially look 4K and you can change the level of detail. Uh, you can go in here and choose your network and internet if you want to. It has um, ethernet, if you, which is cool. Even though it's the little cylinder version, it still comes with ethernet on there. You can restart your Wi-Fi. IPv6 on here. Device preferences, you can come in here. This is gonna be where the, the bulk and the meat of the stuff is. This is where you're gonna do your system upgrades on here. You can check for upgrades or do auto upgrades, window upgrades. You can go in here and check for an upgrade to see if we have any. There shouldn't be one, yeah, so it's not, because it would automatically, it's already set to auto upgrade. 
You can change the device name if you want to give it uh, a different name. Maybe you want it to be uh, living room TV or whatever you want. You can enter a custom name as well or just keep it at shield, whatever you want. Go to sleep, restart, power off. Status is gonna where it's gonna show your network, serial numbers and other information. If you go into HDMI, it's gonna show you the resolution you're set at, the color format, HDCCP, legal information, model name, model number, gives you all the software information. Display and sound. You can go in here and you can lower the resolution if you want down to 1080 or use 4K uh, 23 frames. And it'll, it'll basically, whatever your monitor can do, it'll pretty much show that in here. It's not gonna just automatically use HDR if your monitor is not capable of doing it. AI upscaling, it's gonna, you know, just another place to go at it. Power control is cool. This is, all this stuff is turned on by default, but what this stuff is, is it'll automatically turn your monitor on um, as long as, uh, you know, you press a button or something on your remote, it will uh, turn your monitor on, your TV, whatever, and that way you don't have to, you know, turn your TV on separately and then turn on the shield. This will do all that. And the shield will also put it to sleep and all that stuff. It's really cool stuff. Not new to the shield, but it's still, it's cool that the, the shield is in here. You can also set up IR for your TV, which means that, it'll, you know, you can control the volume with this remote and same thing with your receiver and sound bar. Advanced display settings, you can match the color spaces or custom display mode. You can adjust for overscan, meaning that, you know, if these arrows are slightly off in terms of when you look at it, you can go in here and, you know, press up and down and adjust it so that you, you'll be able to see the whole video or picture when you're viewing content. Volume control, um, you can come in here and just adjust that kind of stuff. System sounds, you can turn those off or on. Advanced sound settings, so you can come in here and turn on Dolby Audio Processing. Um, Available formats, you can come in here and see what available formats there are for the, your setup of audio and turn that on and off. Going back to the system. System, you can come in here if you wanted to, you could um, you know, change the processor mode. It's set to max performance, which I don't know why you would wanna change it, but you could change it to optimize if need be. Um, you can also do that with the fans. You can make it quiet or cool, depending upon how you want it. Jumping back to the main screen of device preferences, you can go into storage, and this only has 16 gigs of storage, but it'll show you how much storage you have left and what the storage is being taken up by. So for instance, if you go into apps, it'll show you, you can see all apps that you have installed on here, and you could also uninstall them from here if you need be, but you, I showed you on the front page, you can do that as well. And then going back in here, can transfer files over the network so that it can, you know, basically turns into a network drive. You can mount network storage if you need to or want to. Home screen, you can come in here and customize channels. So if you want certain things to be on or off, it's another place to customize the look of your home screen. You can enable or disable video previews and same thing with audio previews when you're watching certain things on the, on the home screen or, or within an app. We can reorder your apps or reorder your games. You know, there's tons of stuff on here to do in terms of customization. Keyboard, you can come in here and change keyboard if you want. It can be a lean back keyboard or the G board. G, if you have G board set up, you can go into there and mess with the settings. You can manage your keyboards. You can also set up a physical keyboard. Date and time, you can set it to automatic, which it should be, I don't know why you wouldn't, but if you want a 24 hour time limit or format, it'll do that as well. You can set your time zone. Language, uh, you go in here and you have, you can change your language if it's you're not English or something, you're Filipino or French or Italian or whatever. Google Assistant, obviously that's a big one. So this will show you with Google Assistant, it's gonna show you with the account you're using, what permissions, searchable apps, if you wanna set a save filter, if you wanna block offensive words, all that stuff. Screen saver, if you wanna set a screen saver, you can do turn it off or use a backdrop or just use colors. I like the backdrop backdrop because it uses like uh, Google Photos, not your Google Photos, but like photos that they have on there. It's kind of cool. You can set the time of when you want it to start, five minutes or up to, all the way up to two hours. Put the device to sleep after five minutes all the way up to never. Start it now, start uh, sleep now, stay awake when music's playing. Location, if you wanted to know your location. Diagnostics. Chromecast built in, so if you didn't know, you can actually use this as a Chromecast, meaning grab your phone, have it be an iPhone or an Android phone or, or Chrome uh, uh, Chrome um, browser, and you can shoot stuff or broadcast it right to your NVIDIA Shield. 
security and restrictions. If you're into side loading apps, this is definitely where you want to go. Get this all turned on and you can side load apps. Accessibility, if you need um, high contrast on, you can turn that on. Captions, you can have that turned on as well and you can see what it's going to look like. And if you do captions, let me turn that on just so it shows it different. You can see the different colors and different looks of it when you have captions turned on. You can also customize it if you need be. And also you can reset your settings. Remotes and accessories, this is gonna be where if you get a new, um, say you get a Shield gaming remote or a PS4 game remote or Xbox, cause you can connect all that stuff. This is where you would go and add that stuff or disconnect it. It's gonna be your apps, we already kind of looked at that. And that's pretty much it for the settings. All right guys, so I have YouTube loaded up on here just to kind of show you what, you know, videos are gonna look like and stuff. So let's just jump into, um, one of my videos here, do this one. And I have the sound off, so it's not gonna play any of the sound on here. And I'm also recording the screen, but regardless, you know, just loading videos up and jumping around the operating system, it looks awesome. I mean, you're not gonna have any issues with that kind of stuff. If you're using this as a media player, you're gonna absolutely love it. It has all the apps that you pretty much want in here. You can see the video looks absolutely fine. Um, let me jump into the Google Play Store, and I don't know if I got the recent update yet. Probably didn't, yeah. I'm still, there is a new Google Play Store uh, update, so I still have the old one, but you generally are gonna get you know, any app that you pretty much want for video and or Android games as well, and, and it's gonna be on here. So you shouldn't really have any problems with that kind of stuff. They get the new Disney Plus app. They're gonna have Netflix and Hulu and all that kind of stuff. You know, like I said, any any video app or, kind of, you know, whatever app you want, games on here, it's just gonna be all on here. It's got the new Facebook Watch app, which some, like I know, I'm pretty sure Roku doesn't have that app, and my wife does watch Facebook Watch, so she might be interested in that. And also, before we get too far, the remote itself, actually, I don't mind it. It's got a little bit of weight to it, but other than that, it's, um, and, and the batteries are hard to take out, but other than that, I actually quite like it. It's comfortable in your hand. It's easy to see where the buttons are and, and use it. So I, I do enjoy the, the remote on a side note right there. Movie night apps, free TV and movies, all kinds of stuff in here for the, for the apps. Now the other big thing about Nvidia Shields is you have the Nvidia games library. So you can come in here and see what your libraries are. You can check out um, new releases of games. And uh, so for instance, if you're interested in Lonely Mountains Downhill, you can tap on that. And these games are on Steam, so you're literally streaming these games to be able to play these, you know? And you can check out screenshots of what they look like. This is obviously not like a super graphically intensive game. We'll go into some of these other games obviously are, such as uh, Fortnite can be, I guess. So, you know, you get the chapter two on here and you can you know, check this stuff out, see what it's gonna look like on here. And it, it plays pretty darn good. I'll do a separate video on gaming. Um, but yeah, this is just kind of one of the walk you through the interface and show you some of the stuff you'll get. And again, these are gonna be streamed, you know, PC games from Steam that you're gonna be, that you either purchased or you own or um, that uh, are free. So there's all kinds of stuff on here for you to do. First person shooters, fighting games, NBA 2K, WWE 2K tons of games on here and that is a look at the nvidia shield again the remote i like it even though it's a little bit triangular and kind of weird i guess you could say device itself is kind of strange it's too big to you know connect just to the tv and it's a cylinder i mean you can hide it pretty much anywhere but i would say if cost is not an issue I would say get the bigger one, but if you know you want to save you know 50 bucks or so, um, get this one. It's gonna you know do almost as much stuff as the other one, and uh, so far so good with it. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you down the road. Peace.